You're right there guys, I'm Paul the Tech Giant and today I'm going to be unboxing and testing out a pressure washer which is this Fix Now 500E. Now this isn't just any old pressure washer because this is a cordless pressure washer powered by a 24 volt 15,600 milliamp hour battery and can put out up to 510 psi of water pressure. So before we can put this bad boy to the test, we need to unbox it and take a look at exactly what we get inside. So, lifting the lid then. And if you want to come in a little bit closer, we can see we have a user manual just there. We have the actual main body itself or the like sort of gun with the, uh, all the motor inside and whatnot. So we've got our trigger there. It's like we've got like a safety lock on it. Got like a, let's look, like our on off button there. Got a display, which is great because it's got a battery indicator by the looks of it and some different modes. Uh, input there for the water supply and a connection on the bottom for the battery. And talking of batteries, there is our battery just there, and uh, looks like there's a little button. Yep, there we go, sort of uh, press that in, and we get a indication of what battery percentage we have remaining. Then we have our charger lead for the battery. Next up, we have a filter, and that's going to plug directly onto the end of our hose, and then the hose to the gun itself, and this is obviously going to filter out any nasties that we don't want being sucked up into the motor. And then we have our uh, main spray nozzle, which, as you can see, is adjustable there, which obviously we will test out in just a bit. Lifting out the uh, foam there and reveals another bit of card and another layer of goodies. So we have our hose just there with the connection which will go onto the gun like that. And then of course the filter onto the bottom. And then we have this, which uh, looks a bit odd, but this is in fact a collapsible bucket, which uh, is very nice indeed. So obviously put your water in and then you're gonna uh, put your hose into the end of there with the filter on to suck the water up into the pressure washer. Yeah, very nice uh, idea that, I like that. Then it looks like we have a bag to carry all those goodies in, which uh, is a very good idea. Looks like a, a drying towel, got it all going on, or, or a beach towel for a vertically challenged person. Looks like some sort of clip there. Don't know what that's for, but I'm sure we will find out. Then we've got another nozzle here, so that's gonna to be to put in things like a detergent, snow foam, that sort of thing. Again, looks like that's uh, probably adjustable. And finally, we have a wash mitt. So uh, yeah, fair play. Looks like they include literally everything that you need to get you up and running. Moving outside now then, and the first thing that we need to do is get this thing set up. So we're gonna first start off by connecting up the filter to the hose, simple enough. Just uh, push that on like so. And then we have this clip just here. Now, uh, if you're not too strong, use some needle nose pliers and simply slip that over the end to keep it nice and secure. Next up, we need to connect the hose to the actual pressure washer. Simplest way to do this is just pull that back like that, push it on, push forward. There we go. Nice and secure. And uh, stating the obvious, but when it comes to dismantling, all you have to do again is pull that back and pull to release. Next, we just got to fit the nozzle to the gun. Simply align the prongs in the hole. There we go, push down and twist. Now, the next thing that we need to do is fill up the collapsible water bucket. And uh, obviously the one thing it don't come with is water. Now, we're gonna be using this pressure washer ourselves when we go out to things like car shows and when we go out paddle boarding as we uh, wanna rinse off like the salt off the paddle boards and give the car a nice clean before a show. So uh, what we're gonna be doing is in fact, taking bottles just of cheap mineral water, it only costs like about 15, 20p. So I'm gonna crack open one of these and start filling this up.
And there we go. Now this clip that I seen earlier that I didn't know what it was for is simply for uh, hooking the hose onto the, excuse the rabbit there, just ruining the garden. So yeah, the hose goes through there, plonk that in there and then hook it onto the side, keeps it in place so it doesn't fall out. Now the final thing to do is connect up the battery. Again, simple enough to do. Just line up little connections there with that, push it on, there you go. Right, now it's time to test this thing out. So uh, what we're gonna do to initially get the thing to power on is uh, push the safety button either to the left or to the right, and then quickly just pull the trigger. There you go, it's now fired into life and we can then scroll through the different power modes using this button just here. So we've got T1, T2 and S and then we've got an indicator there of the battery level and as you can see at the moment we are fully charged. Right so now we're going to move over to this absolutely minging seat that we got. To be totally honest with you it's seen better days I think it's ripe for the bin it won't be used for another summer so uh excuse the state of it it's ripped to bits but anyway good for a test. As you can see, it is getting that dirt off fair play. Let's have a go on the uh, lemon pillows now, cushions. Right, like you draw your name in there, look at that. And of course, we can adjust this nozzle so we can get more of a fine spray. We want to rinse stuff off. So if we come in down here, we've got a bit of dirt down here where the rabbit's been digging. So let's uh, try and blast some of this away. So that's moving rocks and stuff there, as you can see. It's all splashing up the wall, we'll rinse that off. So we're gonna try something a little bit higher up now. Just uh, do up here where we've got all that dirt cobwebs and, you know, just general muck. Yeah. Right, let's do a bit lower down now then. Okie dokie, we have now come out to the garage and as you can see, I am completely portable. And uh, we're now gonna give the car a bit of a clean. And this is a great example, cause you know, you could be at a car show in the middle of a field and this is gonna come in really handy. But this time round, what we're gonna do, we're gonna bin off this nozzle and we're gonna fit the detergent dispenser on there and apply some suds. So there you go, going on nice and thick. And of course you can adjust that thickness on the end there. You can have it more watery or thicker if you wish. Honestly, this is gonna be a godsend, like I said, at those car shows in the summer. Nothing worse when you arrive and your car's filthy. And uh, this could be the solution to your problem. So let's, uh, put this nozzle on, give it a wipe over, and then we're gonna get it rinsed off. So I'm just gonna adjust the nozzle then, get more of a uh, spray going on there. There we go. Thank you. 
and there we go. Right, so we've come back inside now that we've done all our cleaning, and I uh, thought I'd just give you my final thoughts on this. And uh, both me and my partner have been having a chat about, aren't we, the pros and the cons of this. And you know me, I am honest as the day is long, and I'm gonna go out there and say that this isn't a pressure washer that's gonna replace your uh, mains powered pressure washer, but where this thing really does shine, stating the obvious, is the portability of it. Now, as we've discussed earlier, you know, cleaning the car, say at a car show, but another thing that we're gonna use it for is, uh, like we said earlier, again, when we go out paddle boarding, so it could be great for people who are into their water sports, so kayaking, surfing, you know, jet washing down your uh, wetsuits and things like that. Another one we said about was uh, mountain biking, isn't it? So you yeah, take your bike, yeah, take your bike out, you know, you hit the trails, you come back, bike's all muddy, um, you're not normally gonna have a big powerful pressure washer there. And plus ones that are too powerful aren't good for, you know, things like your bearings and things like that. And this would come in really handy. You could give your bike a good once over, get the, uh, you know, bulk of the mud off the bike and then put your bike in the car. It is really good for the portability. And we've, we said we are gonna definitely be using this when it comes to paddle boarding and uh, just, rinsing it down, getting all the salt off the board, because at this moment in time, we have to use basically big gallon um, containers, don't we, sort of like uh, rinsing them off. It is really awkward where this, we can fill this up, you know, with water, and because it's quite sparing with the water, we should be able to do the board and the wetsuits, and uh, means that we can sort of pack it up in situ, and we haven't got one packet when we get back home and sort of, you know, rinse all the salt and the sand off. So uh, yeah, it is great when it comes to the portability. So there you go, hope you appreciate my open and honest testing of this FixNow 500E pressure washer. And if you wanna pick one up for yourselves, I'll leave a link in the description. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.